So let's move and create our uh, functions that will get our temperature uh, format from our user defaults. Um, before I move, I want to move my save location to user defaults under my user defaults mark here because these all belong to one place. And then I'm going to create a, another struct. So let's go to our model helper, choose the last one, command N. It's gonna be a Swift file. And I'm going to call mine a temp format. And let's create a struct and say temp format. And uh, our temp format is going to have two uh, constants here. So it's a static let, and first is gonna be Celsius, which is equals, and we put our Celsius sign here. And the second one is static let, and we need Fahrenheit. is equals and we put our Fahrenheit format here. So uh, for Celsius, I'm going to co copy this and put my symbol. And for Fahrenheit, I'm going to copy my Fahrenheit symbol. Okay, and the next thing, I'm going to go to my global helpers here because we need some function that will be available globally so we can uh, use in different places. So um, let's scroll down after our get weather uh, icon for function. I'm going to create a few functions here that will be used. First, uh, since our model is returning the temp format in Celsius, we need some kind of, let's go on the top, and by default, uh, this temperature, where is it? Uh, current temperature is Celsius. So we need some kind of function that will take uh, Celsius and convert it and return uh, Fahrenheit to us. So I'm going to call uh, create a function. Call this uh, Fahrenheit. From Celsius. And we're going to pass our Celsius, which is double. And this is going to return a double. So it will convert to Fahrenheit. And then I'm going to say return. And we're going to convert Celsius into Fahrenheit. So in order to convert, the formula will be uh, we take our Celsius. We say uh, times 9 divided by 5 plus 32. So this formula will take a Celsius and convert it to Fahrenheit. The next thing we want to do is to receive our temperature uh, format from our user defaults. Um, and based on that, we want to do, uh, we want to set our uh, temperature. So uh, my func, get temp based on settings. And I'm going to pass uh, Celsius here as a double. And this is gonna return a double. So whenever we call this function, we will give it our uh, temperature. And this function will go check what we have in our settings. If we have Celsius, it will return us a Celsius. Or if we have a Fahrenheit, it will convert and return a Fahrenheit to us. So this is our go-to function whenever we want to get our dynamic uh, temperature. So in this function, we want to, uh, actually before we can write this, we want to write another function which will help this function to uh, fulfill its uh, requirements. So we say func return temp format from user defaults. 
because we need to know what we have in our user defaults. Actually, this needs to return a string so that our uh, function here will use this function to understand what we have saved in our user defaults. And of course, we need to check this. So um, let me say if let temp format equals to user defaults standard dot value for key and the key let me just copy and paste because I don't want to have any typos here otherwise we are going to get a nil so if this thing exists so it means we do have something in our user defaults otherwise we say else and we are going to assume that we don't have anything and our by default temperature format is Celsius. So I'm going to say return and now I can access my uh, temp format and then I can get my Celsius here. If it does exist, however, we want to check what this is. So I say if temp format is and we need to specify that this is as integer and remember we can unwrap this because this uh, we are saving it as an integer we check if it's zero which means celsius we want to return temp format celsius otherwise we want to say else a return and then we are going to return temp format dot fahrenheit and the reason we can return temp format on Fahrenheit or Celsius, because we promise here to return string, is that these values are strings, so we can uh, return them. So I'm, I just created this nice uh, struct here, so we, can, uh, we don't have to type this Celsius and Fahrenheit sign every time we need them. So this will come check our user defaults and return what is the format we save it. And in our get temp based on settings for, uh, function is going to have our format which is equals to return format from user defaults we call this function and once we have our format we check if uh, format is equals to temp dot celsius then we are going to just return this fun, uh, value. So we say a return Celsius. Because well, we are passing Celsius here, there is no point of converting Celsius to Celsius. We just return it. Else, uh, we say a return, and this time we are going to uh, use this handy function. So I call this function and pass my Celsius here and it will do the rest of uh, heavy lifting for me, which taking the Celsius and converting it to Fahrenheit. So we have all these uh, three nice functions that work together, which is our go-to function is this one, and the rest is just helpers function, functions to help this function to do the job. So now we can call this function every time we want to display our uh, temperature, and it will check what format we want to display and basically return the correct information to us.